Hey everybody, welcome back, this is Bo. We're doing a video today. Oh yeah, I know this content looks pretty hot from the screen. What it is, is a video to teach you how to actually use analytics to determine the proper World of Warcraft realm to roll on. Let's say you've never had a character before, you're starting again, or big one is the Warlords of Draenor is coming back and everyone gets a free 90. Well, which of these realms do you play on? Which ones do you go for? Here's what we're gonna go. We're gonna use the analytics version of figuring out the proper way to find the right server for you. Now, it all depends on what your thing is, so we'll start it off. Questions you're gonna ask yourself. This is just a Google Doc that I have, which I'll put links to in uh, the description below and everyone can use it. First thing, how good is the economy? Now this is one that I use quite a bit. I want to know that if I get a lot of money, I want to be able to use my, like the stuff I get and use an auction house. So what I do is I'm in the US, if you're in the EU or whatever, you can use whatever, but in this case, I'm in the US. God, the EU is cranking, look at all that. Uh, US, so far it's Illidan, Darkspear, Stormrage, Kel'Thuzad, and, and Sargeras. And this, remember, these are by uh, individual faction because some of the, Realms, as you well know, are just way disproportionate. So that's the first thing. And then next one would be, so what's the actual population of a server? Like just talking like all uh, the characters as far as what is the distribution uh, against everything. So these are all the characters that have pretty much ever been created. So it gives you an idea. Let's say I want to look for like most characters ever created. In this case, Oh man, look at this, 300,000, that's pretty good. You wouldn't want to roll on Venture Company, an RP server with like this many, unless you really want to RP. But in the case of, do you want a high, for me, I need a high population server. I don't want to have to worry about having a bunch of servers put together. When I play, I want to just be able to get in, no problem. So that's something to think about. Also, consider this. Don't use this quite yet as far as distribution, as far as what the alliance versus horde ratio is, because there's a better website for that. This is just to give you an idea for how much activity has ever been on that. that. In this case, like Darkspear, Illidan, all these, are they've got a lot of characters available. That just means people have that many characters. Uh, one thing I'm really curious about is PvE progression. I want to choose a server where I know there's a high likelihood that people are going to be good. Okay, because I want to be able to either get pulled into pugs or join up in a guild. And if there's already a ton of guilds on the server that are doing well, there's a better chance I'll be able to get in on those than, say, a really crappy server. Like, if you went here and you were like, I want to go on this server, that just this, this indicates that pretty much nobody has done anything as far as raiding. Whereas this 15,000 refers to they've killed everything. Heroic 14 out of 14 of all stuff. So this is what I'm looking for. A nice high score, so that way generally people are either well geared uh, or there's a chance that these people are actually really good at PvE. For me, I like that kind of thing. Also make note of the type of server as well as the distribution. This is getting a bit closer. Not quite right, but it's getting closer. Battle groups, uh, good to know, but we'll get there. And then this, this is the real one, Worldcraft Realms, uh, Realm Stats. Now this is people who have actually logged into the game in the last 30 days. This is the best selection of data you can get as far as real time, how many people are logging into that server or different characters are logging into that server and we're active in the last 30 days. This site has got all kinds of data. So I would totally recommend this. This is obviously the data man's way of choosing a server. Now, we can go through dicking around trying to play with it and be like, oh my God, it's Alliance and Horde, but this does not paint the proper picture because you have to take into account the battle group. Now, battle groups mean when you want to do PvP at some point, the, all the there's different realms that are grouped together. So you can do Warsome, Gulch, or Rathly Basin, any of those, more than likely you're going to be within your battle group. And your battle group can be determined how long you wait in queues, how good your people are, how many, like, for instance, this has got a bunch of RP servers in it. It's got a lot of PVE servers and a few PVP. Emberstorm would be a tough one for me because I look at the distribution and it's just like, I just don't know. It's not that good. Whereas something like Bloodlust, I mean, or even, shoot, uh, Rampage, 
tons of PvP. Almost all of it's PvP. Good chance this is going to be a good one, but that does not tell the whole story. If we were able to take, say, this data and match it against battle groups, that would be something fun, wouldn't it? Oh wait, who did? Now this was going to change for you based on like a number of items, but um, so what I'm going to actually do is insert one and then see data as of July 10th, 2014. And then we'll just put that in bold and boost it a bit so people can see that. Okay, nice. I took that, I took this and dumped it into Excel so that way I could get a nice clean data set. This will tell us everything we ever need to know. What I'm really curious about is this and this. Because if we can't tell how many players are actually on an entire battle group, it's difficult to make a decision as far as like which of the crews or which of these servers to join. Because if you just look at like this, right? You might think, oh, Illidan, no problem, right? Well, Illidan, if you look at it, is in Rampage, right? Whereas, and this is what the distribution is. This is just a VLOOKUP table of all these functions right here and removing the percentages so you can sum it. Basically, it's a 50-50, but there's a huge majority uh, that's just here. But look, there's only 8,500 people on Illidan, right? Well, that's great, but the only problem is See what I mean? This is like an older number that doesn't quite tell you everything. So maybe that's good, but there's some other ones I would potentially look for. A lot of these, like Storm Rage, Malganus, Sargalus, good ones, right? Look at that. Storm Rage, even though it's Alliance, it's 38,000 people on that particular server, right? And almost no horde. But this is a, this is like four times the amount of people play this server to this server. So that might be something to consider, whatever you're thinking, right? Okay, if we just keep rolling, this is the one that has like a shitload of characters on it, right? Remember this one had like 300,000 characters right here? Well, not so much. It's only got about 7,500 active characters and those are mostly on the Horde side. And if you're looking for like good, like Proudmoore, perfect example, this is a great example. Proudmore is not too bad, right? From here, it's it's very high. I mean, you're talking this is total characters, but it's PVE, normal. It's in my uh, time zone, if that's important to you. Obviously, here we'll see that it's not like the best. I mean, it's not bad though. I mean, these people are probably 12 out of 14 or 13 out of 14 when it comes to heroics, but that's nothing. I mean, we have. Uh, in, in less than five months, you're going to have the new expansion anyway. So all the tier stuff you're going to get is going to be replaced by greens. So I wouldn't too worry about that. But what you're really hoping for is the pool of PVE people has got to be really strong. And I think if you're in the top, like if you were at 10,000 above, so in the top 30 in this case, you're going to be okay. There's going to be a lot of really good people in that. Here's the kicker. You want to find one with a battle group that either has a shitload of players like this one, right? If you look at it, it means there's 74,000 people on Alliance and 80 and 71,000 here. Even though like Illidan is right in here, right? This is one where it's like badass PVP, everyone's fucking uh, right? But you're not gonna have that. It's just not really, oh shit, where did I close? Oh, the pop one. It's just not the proper choice because you have less people playing on that particular one, right? If you total these two up, I mean, you're talking a ton of 109,000 players, whereas here you got 145, you have 40% more people playing, which means you got 40% more potential people that are doing PVP. Now, this could be a double-edged sword. It means there might be too many people and you got queues, or it could mean there's just a lot more opportunity to do additional battlegrounds. It really depends on how you look at it. Personally, the way I'm looking at this is at least for my new playthrough, the one that you guys are more interested in, is if you're gonna do something like a horde playthrough or something, you need to look for a server that's just really ridiculous as far as horde. Like, look at this, 38,000, basically 35, 37,000. Okay, great, now let's go look and see. Area 52, horde. 10,000. This is a very, very healthy economy. 
Illidan is still the best, but the problem is if you have a huge market value like this, you have the potential where the prices are might be really cheap to get in. It might be great for when you're leveling, but when you're trying to make money later in the game by selling resources, by trying to find a niche, you may have a lot of trouble because there's so many people doing it that you're gonna have a huge amount of competition. So it may be more effective to try to find something kind of in the middle, not 17, certainly not down here, right? I mean, that seems to be like the bell curve. It's somewhere around, you know, four and a half, three and a half to maybe six and a half, right? So if you're in the 10,000 up range, it's not too bad. So area 52 is not looking too horrible. Now going back to our list, area 52, unfortunately there is one negative to this, even though there's more people available than the Illidan one, you do have a potential that there are twice as many Horde trying to play compared to Alliance, which means maybe Alliance is going to have a way faster queue time than the Horde. And on top of that, the vast majority of the players in this playgroup come from just the one server. So if your one server is kind of boner on PvP, you may have trouble, or especially in progression. So if we go back and take a look at progression, Actually, not too bad. More than likely 12 out of 14, and it's PvE. Uh, plus, if we look back at our selection criteria, Area 52 doo -doo 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 -doo, is an Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> kind of sucks for me. I'm in California. I really would like a PST, because basically what this will exclude me from is any form of, like, guild raid, if I ever got there. I mean, I can't imagine having that much time anymore, but if I had a guild raid, more than likely it means I'm three hours ahead at any point. So even if I got home at seven o'clock, right, it's a decent time, it's 10 p.m. for that server, which means you're basically relegated to late night raiding guilds, which can kind of kind of be lame. So that's something to really consider as well as the time zone. So it would be really nice, but the only problem is uh, that Eastern Standard Time is kind of, kind, of kind of a loser for me. Um, but it doesn't exclude a lot. So now we just keep rocking through and see, okay. Now I did not pull battle groups for everyone, just the ones I was really curious about. And mostly just to show you guys kind of my process for how I think about it. Okay, so, I mean, there, there's a couple options, right? We have Arthas here, we have Bleeding. There are less Horde than more Alliance, which means I have a 20% chance better, or 25% chance better of getting in a PvP or potentially cross-realm situation than others. I have more players. I got 140,000 players versus 100,000 players here on Illidan, the biggest, baddest server ever, right here, 145, but everything's split pretty even. And then here, everything's split toward the Horde, which could potentially be bad. So now let's look at this one and this one. Let's go ahead and paint these yellow. Oh, well, I like to look at these. Arthas looks really good to me because it's a gotta gonna be decent. So let's go check the realm. Let's go check our woe auction and see what we got. Anything on Arthas on Arthas Horde seven and a half. Okay, it's above average, not awesome, but that could be a good thing later on. Okay, so not two shabs. God, these European man, it's crazy. But it's in the top 20 as far as economy, which is not not too bad. Okay, so nothing too horrible there. Uh, Arthas, let's take a look. What is it? Arthas, Eastern Standard Time PvP. Ugh, could be a boner because of that EST thing. So let's look at Bleeding Hollow. EST PvP, fuck. It's the EST people are doing really good in this battle group, apparently. Okay, so we're going to have to keep a... Keep our eyes open real quick. Do, 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 do. Area 52 is looking good, but it's in the PvP. PvP. Anyway, you get the point, right? You're trying to identify metrics that will give you either an advantage or disadvantage. In this case, I'm really kind of toasted because I'd love to be able to get back into a horde server. Malganus, maybe, but see, maybe. Look at that. 99 to 1. Jesus. It's like one guy logged into Alliance. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's got to be like the loneliest. I'm the loneliest man ever. <laughs> All right. Uh, or maybe you want something a little bit less kind of like that, which might be a good thing. 
Okay, let's see. And that's the overall. So overall is a very good thing to look at. Uh, let's see if I wanted to. I wish I could, I could sort this guy real quick. Okay, sort. I want to sort. God, I hate using. Why is it so shitty? Okay, I want to go ZDA. Excellent. All right, so da, 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 da. Wow, that was weird. Why didn't it actually do anything? Weird. Anyway, oh, it must have reverted. Anyway, we just go look and see. You know, do. Beep, 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 beep. So you can use your data to find out specific servers you think might be awesome. It's a great horde server. Oh wow, it's RP too. Weird. Do, 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 39. Whoa, storm rage. Rage in. Look at that. And EST, another one. Damn man, nothing, no love for anybody as far as. But you know, this is what you use the data for. You're trying to identify specific ones that could or would maybe potentially take care of themselves. Mm, not too bad, Dark Spear, as long as I was on the other side. Darlin. Hmm. Man. Airy Peak's pretty cray cray. And it's PST PVE. Airy Peak. Hmm. Did not do one for Airy Peak. But anyway, if we were to look at it real quick, we could see quite a number, which means more than likely Airy Peak is going to be a huge majority of all of the people on that battle group, and all these are going to be small ones. Like, you can just look at Undermine and be like, okay, what's Undermines? Yeah, like 6,000 people. More than likely, it just means Airy Peak is going to pretty much be that entire server. So, I hope you guys got the idea, right? We're looking for how do you define the characteristics of a server, not just necessarily, oh my god, I bleh. It's all about how to select and how to be a part of this thing. So now you know from this that there are specific tools and it's all listed here. I'll put this in the, in the description below. How to find your battle group, what are the stats, what's the economy like, and then generally how's progression going on those servers. So again, nothing really will take away getting like a level one and going on those servers and just kind of listening and seeing how the feel of it is for you. But if you're looking at just data to figure it out, that's the way I would do it. So with that, you guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think. And we will be getting our 1 to 90 crawl fairly soon. See ya.